so it's Sunday and it uh, snowed. I almost said it rained. It snowed overnight. It only snowed like an inch or two, not a ton, but Cincinnati people tend to freak out over the snow. Um, I'm walking really slow right now because it is solid ice on our steps and I'm scared. Um, oh, now it's really windy. Oh my God, this is not gonna end well. I'm gonna go. So it is Monday, um, it's freezing, it's like nine degrees outside I think, it's really cold. So that's not fun, my nose is running like crazy. Um, right now I just had an inspection for a client at a house we just sold them and we got the house inspected and now I am back at my place for a little bit um, and then in like two hours I have a retreat because I got nominated to be on a committee for the Board of Realtors this year. Um, I'm gonna be the vice chair of the Young Professionals group, which is exciting, because it was only my first year on it last year, and somebody nominated me to be the vice chair for this year, which means that next year I will be the like head person of the Young Professionals group. So pretty exciting. But anyway, I have a retreat for that later. And now I'm trying to finally take down my Christmas decorations because I haven't been back here in a while. Um, I've been staying at my parents a lot the past few weeks just because I've been super sick and it sucks staying at your place alone when you're not really doing too hot. Um, I learned that the hard way. I tried to stay here one night last week when I thought I was doing better and I just got so sick and like panicky in the middle of the night. Um, so I ended up going home and I haven't been here in a while. So I'm trying to get back into the swing of things and into my normal routine for the year. Um, and I'm trying to put my Christmas stuff away and it's not going well. My tree will not go back in the box. I don't know if anybody else has this issue, but mine is not getting in there. So as you can see, I mean, it looks like it's stuffed in there from this angle, but the camera can be very deceptive. Um, I can't shut it and I don't know what to do like it's just stuffed in there I feel like I've lost a few uh, branches in this process but I just don't know how to like shove it down there and it won't shut so I'm gonna have to deal with that I might leave this up here I don't know it's I think a little too high but my wall is just so plain I feel like I need something up there for the time being Hey guys, so I am at my parents' house um, trying to get some work done, but I wanted to show you guys some stuff I got in the mail from Thrive Cosmetics. This package just came and I wanted to show you guys what's in it. So I really like watching like unboxing or like mail opening videos on YouTube. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm nosy, but this is what Thrive Cosmetics sent me. And basically, they're kind of like a socially conscious makeup and beauty brand. Um, so, they like make products that are free of like parabens and sulfates and everything else. So, this is what they sent me. There's a very good mail day. Um, first up, they sent me some of these false lashes. Let me try to open these up. So, this is what the false eyelashes look like. Ignore my fingers because they're really dry. Um, so those are really cute. I've never actually worn false lashes before, so I might have to give them a try now. And then they sent me some waterproof eyeliner. And it's kind of hard to see in this lighting because my bedspread is like hot pink. But they sent me a ton of different eyeliner colors Let's... and then I know there was like a purple in there somewhere so yeah I'm really excited to try these out so I'm in the elevator of my building someone's moving in clearly that's why it's all kind of guarded off like this but I just went to Kroger and I am gonna be filming a Valentine's Day drink video so I have to kind of hurry because I have a meeting in like two hours, but that's what I'm going to be doing the next couple of hours.
So I'm back in my place now and I have to get all my stuff together for the drink I'm making. And I actually made something like this on Christmas morning for my family. Um, but I'm gonna be kind of doing a variation of that drink. And it's actually really simple. It probably takes like two minutes to make, which is nice. Um, for these like perfect pairing videos that I'm doing, I wanna make drinks that are cute and really good, but also not too complicated. So this recipe is super easy. It's um, kind of like if, I think I posted about it on my blog, the drink that I made for Christmas morning, but it was like raspberry cream mimosas. So it was a little bit different. Um, it wasn't super time consuming, but they were really good. I made them for my whole family. And this that I'm making for Valentine's Day is a kind of like raspberry champagne float. So what we're gonna be using in that is some sorbet, raspberry sorbet, and I got graters, of course, cause we're in Cincinnati. You have to support the local companies. Um, and if you're not from Cincinnati, this stuff um, is on Oprah's favorite things. So you should try it if you've never had it before. She loves graters. So that, and then you need some raspberries, of course. And then I need to refrigerate this actually but you just need some pink champagne. And I'm gonna be using my favorite barefoot bubbly, of course. So three ingredients, super easy. Um, I love raspberry flavored things, so I think it's gonna be really good and perfect for Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna get my whole little setup going right now. Um, filming videos is very time consuming. Um, it's a lot different, I feel like, than doing a blog post. I'm trying to get my tripod right now. So yeah, there's a lot of work that goes into filming a video and you just have to devote a while to film and then you have to actually like do the video, get everything set up perfectly, then import everything, edit it, and just then upload it to YouTube, which can take a lot of time if you have a high quality video. So. I have to kind of race today because I have a meeting in a few hours. So I'm gonna get my whole setup going. I'm gonna put my bar cart back there on stilts because it is too short on its own to fit in like the tripod view. So I have to put them on my old college bed risers. So I'm gonna do that now and I'm gonna film my video and hopefully it goes well and quickly. This is insane. So I've been working from home today and all of a sudden I looked out my window and um, it was snowing like crazy. Uh, it's like so pretty out right now. I don't even know if this video does it justice. So this is what it looks like. So pretty. So it is Saturday and I'm talking really quietly because I'm in a bookstore downtown. Um, I'm here with my boyfriend. I look terrible right now, but this store has like walls and walls of books. It's so cool. I tried to take some video downstairs. So my boyfriend's up on a different level looking at books. There's like three or four levels here. So there's like a lot of books to see um, and then there's like floor to ceiling floor to ceiling walls of books like on every level it's really cool um, 
and then they have like staircases that just lead to more and more like hallways of books and it feels like you're like traveling back in time here it's really cool um the first floor is my favorite because it's really bright and it has like really tall ceilings and it's just covered in books um all the walls are just books and it's so cool so this is the second floor this has like a lot of books still but it's not as big as the first floor um it's definitely smaller the ceilings aren't as high but it's still really cool but i'm trying to be quiet because there's nobody else in here <laughs> so this is the first floor so i'm gonna go up to the second floor and try to see where my boyfriend is So we just got done at the bookstore. Um, Joe is still paying for his books and I didn't want to get a ticket so I ran out to the car. But I'm having the worst hair day ever. I tried to use my dry shampoo and it ended up making my hair more greasy, which I don't know if that means I need to get rid of my dry shampoo. Like maybe it's old or something, I don't know. My nose is all red, I'm a mess right now. It's like 10 degrees outside. Um, but yeah, I just have my hair up in a really ugly ponytail because it's so like oily and my dry shampoo made it so much worse. So yeah, I don't know what we're going to do the rest of the day. We have dinner plans tonight at Kaze. So I don't know. There's not really too much we can do because it's so cold out right now. So I'm thinking maybe just lounge. I don't know. Maybe like the museum or something. I don't know. I'm really feeling so lazy in this weather. So hopefully we can figure out something fun to do. That bookstore is so cool. I took so many pictures there. We go there every time he's in town because he just loves books and loves buying books. So that was fun, but now we need to figure out something else to do.